Ibrahim. Uh, thank you, uh, Madam Dr. Shaheen Mazari. I'm really grateful and thankful not only uh, to Dr. Shaheen Mazari, to the Ministry of Human Rights, but also to the state of Pakistan, who has always stood behind and has always stood for the Kashmiris whenever it has been time, even when it was quite a difficult time for Pakistan. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, today I present before you myself as the nephew of the lady in the veil, the person who has been told in the past, I am Asya Andrabi. 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 I am Asya Asya Andrabi ki parvarish aur paidaish ke baad bilkul wo aise hi rahi thi. Unhone Magbuza Jammu and Kashmir mein Kashmir University se biochemistry mein child development mein nutrition mein bachelor's kiya aur uske baad Kashmir University se Arabic mein unhone master's kar liya. Asya Andrabi jis tarah maine aapse kaha ek elite class family hai jo ek religion ka bhi ek thought hai ek social thought hai ki hamari ek ideological thought hai, us tarah se ek zindagi guzarte hai. It was in the mid-80s that she actually got transformed. Aala Taaleem hasil karna chaati thi and she wanted to go to Himachal Pardesh actually. India mein Aala Taaleem hasil karna jab ek khaab tha aur khaab ke baad wo ek ek lihaas se unka ek jazba ban gya ki mein ne Aala Taaleem hasil karni hai. Us wakit Mahal Khair Abadi ki ek kitab in ki nazar se guzri aur Mariam Jamila جس کو آج بھی وہ کہتی ہیں کہ وہ ایک آئیڈل ہیں ان کے لئے جن کی زندگی کو پڑھ کے وہ ٹرانسفارم ہو گئی It was in the mid-1980s that Asya Andrabi laid the foundation of Dukhtaran-e Millet Dukhtaran-e Millet وہ تنظیم ثابت ہوئی جس نے مقبوضہ جمعہ کشمیر کے اندر ایک پولٹیکل ریفارم ایک سوشل ریفارم لایا تھا Apart, set aside from the self-determination the right of self-determination جس کے لئے سب بات کرتے رہے لیکن ومن کو وہاں پہ ایک پولٹیکل میچوریشن دینے کے لئے ایک میچور کرنے کے لئے آسیہ اندرابی کی آواز بہت اہم ثابت تھی It was in 1990s جب آسیہ اندرابی صاحبہ نے It was in 1990s when آسیہ اندرابی صاحبہ married Dr. Qasim Faktu also known as Aashik Hussain Faktu an edifice, a scholarly person in himself and the couple spent only a maximum of two to three years together and their sons Ahmed bin Qasim and Muhammad bin Qasim were raised with their parents mostly behind the bars. Ladies and gentlemen, Asya Andrabi was first arrested in 1992-1993 under the Draconian Public Safety Act as we all know. It was only uh, Muhammad bin Qasim. He was only six months old at that time. And this is very important to understand that she has spent almost more than 12 to 15 years behind bars ever since 1992 till 2020. And she is the only leading female rebel who has been slapped with PSA more than 20 times. Public Safety Act, wo draconian law, jo Hindustan har us huriyat leader pe, har us awaz ke upar laga deta hai jis ke liye jo Hindustan ke liye khatra ban jati. It was in October 2016 when Asya Andrabi was arrested when she was in a hideout and along with her, her personal associate Fahmida Sufi and the Secretary General of Dukhtaran e Millat, Nahida Nasreen, were taken into custody as well. The role of Asya Andrabi is very important to understand and why actually she has been taken behind bars and why at this point in time the Indian state is so hell-bent upon delivering a life sentence to a lady whose husband is already behind bars and has been awarded a life sentence, whose family has been shattered with the son being at one place, the other son being in another place. The whole family is distorted and disrupted. But let's discuss it. The role of Asya Andrabi and the peaceful organization has always been to uphold the rights of the Kashmiris, particularly the women. She has always stood against the cultural imperialism that India tags as normalcy in Kashmir. The branded commodification of the poor, destitute Kashmiri women. The so-called cultural shows where India proves itself as an autocratic ruler. And the colonial feministic approach of the oppressor were always strongly denounced by Asya Andrabi, both in words 
and in actions. <laughs> Asya Andravi stands as a woman who considers that women should have their own identity, who considers that they have an equal role to play in the society just like the men, but in their own sphere. It was therefore the ladies of Dukhtaran e Millat who urged the Kashmiri women to uphold their houses while the men took to the roads and the front lead in the freedom struggle. Political maturation in Kashmiri women led to a detestation by India and therefore Asya and Rabi and her associates were always incarcerated under and framed under UAPA, under PSA and now the Indian Penal Code. Ladies and gentlemen, Asya and Rabi ko 2016 mein Srinagar Tehar, Srinagar jail mein, central jail mein mukhayyad rakha gaya tha. लेकिन 2018 जुलाई का वो महीना है जब बिल्कुल जैसा डॉक्टर श्री मजारी साहिबा ने कहा है उनको मैं कहता हूं इगवा करके नाहिदा नसरीन और फहमीदा सूफी को भी लेकर न्यू दिल्ली तिहाड़ जेल की तरफ منتقل कर दिया गया इट वाज बेसिकली अंडर दिस एफआईआर एफआईआर नंबर आरसी 17 2018 एनआईए अंडर द सेक्शंस 120 बी 121 121A, 124A, 153A, 153B and 505 of the Indian Penal Code and section 18, 20, 38 and 39 of the UAPA, the Unlawful Prevention Act. These sanctions deal with the criminal conspiracy, the punishment for which is life imprisonment, waging war, the punishment for which is death or being a lifer, Conspiracy to wage war, a punishment of 10 years, sedition, life imprisonment, promoting enmity, 3 to 5 years, prejudice to national integration, to the Indian national integration, life imprisonment, statements inciting the public, conspiring, attempting a terror act, 5 years or life imprisonment, being a member of terrorist gang, which definitely is not running a very peaceful political movement of Dr. Ane Millat, life imprisonment and offenses as a member of terrorist gang 10 years and supporting terrorist activities 10 years. Ladies and gentlemen, it was on the 21st of December that the NIA ordered that they will be giving a verdict on either 14th or the 18th of January and that has made this matter very important. Asya and Rabi Sahiba, Joki ek saat saal se zaid umar ki khatoon hai, Asya Andrabi Sahiba, who is a man 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 who is a but what happens in Tihar jail this time? Ladies and gentlemen, this is also to understand that back in 2008, she was taken into Amphala jail, Jammu. Where for two years, in a temple-like prison, she was tortured by smoke inhalation. Continuous smoke inhalation has led to possible ILD, that is interstitial lung disease, and we suspect Kishai lung fibrosis ke element B settle in Ho Chukau, but we don't have any access to a high resolution CD scan or any other modality that we can actually prove it. But at this point in time, we know that Asya Andrabi is suffering from severe chest infection. Nahida Nasreen, almost of the same age, is also suffering from severe chest infection, while Fahmida Sufi was also suffering from an acute backache. At this time, when they were transferred to a hospital facility, mein transfer kiya jana Asya and Rabi or unki inmates ko, jo unke saath, unke associates hain, they have been transferred to a penitentiary where the women who have been kept are murderers, drug dealers, drug addicts and serial killers. Considering a political prisoner jisko international tour pe recognize kiya jata hai, she is being transferred to a penitentiary where all these people, where all these murderers and rapists are being held as well. We have a concern, a very grave concern about these because all these inmates, they harbor Hindutva nationalistic thoughts. For once, we have to say that Hindustan is a very good thing, which is a very good thing, 
جو وہاں کی عدالتیں ہیں ان سے ضرور خوف ان سے ڈر ہے کہ ہمارے خلاف کیا فیصلہ آتا ہے بٹ ایٹ دا سیم ٹائم وی بلیو دیٹ دا جیل ان میٹس جو وہاں پہ قیدی ہیں وہ بھی وہاں ان قیدیوں کے ساتھ آسیہ اندرابی ناہیدہ نسرین اور فہمیدہ صوفی کے ساتھ کچھ بھی کر سکتے ہیں کیونکہ اس سے پہلے بھی یہ رپورٹس آ چکی ہیں دیٹ دا جیل ان میٹس پرٹیکولر دا کشمیری وانس دے ور ناٹ اونلی بیٹن بٹ انسیڈنٹس آف ڈیتھس ہیو آلسو بین رپورٹیڈ Ladies and gentlemen, in this COVID pandemic, we know that the inmates, and it's reported that the inmate, along with Asya and Rabi, turned out to be COVID positive. We had no information about how many tests were conducted after that and how many other inmates have contracted COVID-19 infection. We also know that the guard, the prison guard, outside the gates of Asya and Rabi's prison, had also contracted COVID-19. We do not know how many times she had served Asi Andrabi. We do not know how many times she had actually exposed Asi Andrabi once again, Nahida Nasi and Fahmida Sufi, to the COVID-19 infection. Whereas internationally, every jail is being thinned out of its population to prevent COVID-19 infection from spreading, India is doing exactly the opposite of it. Ladies and gentlemen, this is important that what we want, why are we here today as the family and as the state of Pakistan, hum jo demand karte hain, that is very simple. I have already narrated the sections, the articles and the, the uh, jo charges unke upar frame kiye ja rahe hain, they are related to the terror activities as well. A peaceful political organization ko, a terror nexus ke saath is tarah se affiliate and annex karne ka matlab ye hai, that you are actually killing the peaceful political movement inside the Jammu and Kashmir. What the family at this point in time needs and demands is that DM is being, the Dhaqtaran e Millat is being deliberately annexed to terror support and being terrorist organization, which will completely obliterate the strategy of political activism in Jammu and Kashmir. This clearly exposes the fact that Indian justice system, Indian judiciary, is merely an extension of the Indian oppression. Our demands is number one, is to probe into how these inmates are being kept, Asya and Rabi, Nahida, Nasreen and Fahmida Sufi, keeping in view their age and their health. Our demand is to ensure a free and impartial trial, not under the Indian oppression and not under their Indian oppressive laws and regimes. Our demand is that stop victimizing Asya and Rabi Nahida Nasreen and Fahmida Sufi in order to subjugate.